I told you we have a pretty solid lead on the day the GTA 6 trailer is going to drop? And Ladies and gentlemen, get your fat doobies around, get your overclock keyboards, also get your cap meters at hand because Sega's are saying the GTA 6 trailer did confirm that it is real, it is happening. We all know that Rockstar Games confirmed that it's gonna be happening in uh, early December. Let's hope that's real, let's hope that we do not say next week, next week, and next week, but guys, we waited 10 years! It is happening, my brothers, it is happening! We waited 10 years! Let's go for 10 likes on the Bruh. video. Subscribe if you're brand new, because the day it actually happens, I will be live streaming. Don't just the poem poem, smash the like button, and let's check this out. And uh, I told you it's not at the Video Game Awards on December 7th. It's I, don't, I don't think it will be at the Game Awards, though, but yeah. Actually, earlier. Earlier? We're going to talk about it in today's video. Welcome to the channel, everybody. Chaos here. And yes, we have GTA. Yeah, that was actually leaked uh, code right there. TA6 trailer date leaked information. Damn. Plus, we have some other stuff that we need to go over as well. So drop a like. like Make sure you guys are subscribed. And yeah, do bro, that Lucia Burna is big, bro. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, shit. That Burna is big, bruh. Like, Sega's be using and playing with fire with that reel. This one is real, guys. Uh, but, but yeah, damn, man. Like, Jason text kind of hit that. Let's hope it doesn't get nerfed, guys. Smash the like button if you don't want that Burna to be nerfed, bruh. Do me a favor. If you want to check out a little side project that I've been working on for the last six months, we launched Chasing yeah! the... Grand Theft Auto hype. Is through the roof. I'm making True. this video a few days after Thanksgiving, but it's a few days before December begins, so we haven't seen the trailer uh, when I'm making this video. But you can tell the internet is getting antsy about it and for good reason. Rockstar promised a trailer for the new Grand Theft Auto game in early December. And since that's only a few days away, people are starting to get... They're, they're, they're getting stoked about yeah, what it's going to contain. Yeah, they are like, oh my god, oh my god, I'm shaking, oh, oh, I'm, I'm shaking. Listen, man, I haven't felt this much hype in years, my brother, in years, man. It is finally happening. Let's hope that it doesn't turn out to be a GTA Mobile trailer. Because if that happens, I'm gonna get one of these haircuts, guys. On December 32nd. December 32nd. Like this video if you wanna see uh, me get the haircut, guys. Uh, if we, if we, and, and that is if we do not get GTA 6 trailer and we get like a GTA Mobile trailer. Uh, like the video and let me know which number of the haircut you want me to get. Number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, or 6. Let me know. On top of that, it seems Rockstar and Take Two have been making little adjustments, setting uh -huh. the stage for the game's reveal in the coming days. And in this video, we're going to go over all the news regarding uh -huh. the state of GTA, how Rockstar wow. is making sure they're ready for what is surely going to be the most viewed video game trailer of all time, and uh, a very uh, good guess at the actual trailer release date. There we go, Let's boys. Go. One of the biggest there developments go, to happen oh recently came from at least one QA tester who revealed on Twitter that Rockstar had reached out to them and started communicating about the next Grand Theft Auto game. A Twitter user who goes by Nima is someone who has done Nima? a lot of QA testing for Capcom and Sony. Shout out to Nima! <laughs> then they recently go, 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 tweeted out a screenshot of an email that they received from Rockstar and the sub subject line was unveiling the next chapter. They obviously didn't show much more than that because they weren't about to get fired from their job just because they wanted some additional engagement on Twitter. The point is... Rockstar has seemingly started reaching out to known playtesters within the gaming industry, and they're setting the stage for some kind of freelance work. Uh -huh. Nima clarified in a future tweet that the email from Rockstar did not include any gameplay, didn't include any footage or anything like that, but it was a- I mean, damn, Rockstar Games. I mean, can a brother get some footage, though? Can a brother perhaps get at least, like, two hours of gameplay? Bruh. Like, right now? Because we had one hour of league gameplay last year, bruh. Can we get two hours of gameplay? Let's go for two likes if you agree, guys, because, listen, man, we, it's been overdue, bruh. Like, we waited 10 years, 10 years for this one. Uh, I'm not talking about the Elder Scrolls fans. I mean, they waited even longer for that, and we do not have that game inside, but, bruh, GTA 6, man, bruh. finally happening, my brother. It's finally happening, okay? Hopefully, it's not going to be GTA Mobile trailer, guys. <laughs> my bad, guys. I had bruh. to. I had to. But, uh, let's hope it's not. Let's hope it's not. Pretty clear indication the game is nearing its reveal, and Rockstar is starting to reach out to playtesters outside of the studio. That's usually one of the final stages. Can a brown man be reached out as well, guys? Of development. Now, obviously, Rockstar has a ton of QA testers and playtesters in house a within ton. their company, but one of the last things that a major video game will do before launch 
is reach out to third-party playtesters. Yeah, make faster, 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 faster. Like, date, date. Give us the date. Give us the date. We want to know when the Lucia Bruna is going to be revealed. As a brown man, I demand for that to be revealed immediately. As a brown man, I demand free online. I, I, I also demand, as a brown man, I demand no shark cards. No microtransactions. If a game is $70, like it is, and hopefully no renting per hours, like we heard previously that, uh, you know, Take-Two Boss Deadass say. That's a good. Deadass said that. You know, they are looking at the $70 price, and apparently to them, according to them, $70 is not enough. We should be charging people per hours played. I don't think they're gonna do something like that this early. It's probably something that we're gonna see like in 100 years from now. Uh, realistically, like they can certainly make the game available for $70 and also have that renting feature. That's gonna start a WW5 though, for sure, in gaming if it turns out that they they just do renting uh, per hours play though. Make them sign in uh, 4,000 uh, NDAs and see what they think. If there's any gameplay adjustments yeah. they need to yeah. make before the game goes gold, whatever. So the fact that a longtime Sony and Capcom playtester is now being contacted by Rockstar, that is a very good sign the trailer is just days away at this point. The True. launch is probably True. not going to be that far behind. Okay, oh, oh, shit. oh shit! So apparently some suckers were actually reached out by Rockstar Games and oh yeah, okay, maybe the trailer is nice, maybe the trailer is nice. Uh, although yeah, they did say that they're gonna be revealing GTA 6 like, or they, they never said GTA 6 like, whoa, it can be GTA Mobile guys for all I know man, I don't wanna get that haircut, but yeah, on a real though, Rockstar Games did say that they're gonna be revealing the next GTA, a, a new GTA and the, the, the friend franchise entry BS like that they use words like that they did say that it's gonna be early December early December now hopefully early December does not mean December 31st okay because you never know man Rockstar games they, they work on a different they have a different definition of the word early okay because uh, you guys you guys remember right when last year they reveal GTA or basically put out a put out their first tweet saying that yeah the, the next GTA is well underway we're working on it uh, yeah you guys remember when Rockstar games said that when they said that they also did say they're gonna be revealing more information soon and that soon came out in November of 2023, they revealed February 2022, and that soon came just last month in November of 2023. I mean, give it up for Rockstar Games, man. Their soon is never so soon, okay? Never so soon. Still of the opinion the game is likely targeting a spring 2025 but the launch, date, but, but the date. When is the date? We're only about a year and a half away from the biggest launch of all time. Now, in addition to Rockstar setting the stage with QA testers, an interesting leak just came from Meta Social Media's platform where oh, data man. miners were actually able to uncover what seems to be a scheduled announcement. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Coming yeah. on December 3rd. Yeah! Okay. What? Yo! Wow! Beautiful! Damn, son. So if that actually deadass happens though, right? Like we talking, yeah, the Game Awards would be on November the 7th. December the 3rd. Oh, that seems realistic, but but let me check the calendar real quick, though. Hey, yo, what the heck, bro? Yo, December the 3rd is like a Sunday, though. Nah, bro, say you swear to God, bro. I can see, I mean, there's like a saying that December the 1st, because that's Friday. Friday is quite possible. December the 3rd, nah, man. Get your ass out of get more, okay? It may or may not actually be the GTA 6 trailer. According to a recent report, there's currently an encrypted scheduled uh, to go live on December 3rd on Meta. And two of uh -huh. the administrators associated with it are Mark Adamson, who is the executive vice president of marketing at Rockstar, and none other than Mr. Keeley himself of the Game Awards. Again, mm -hmm. we have 100% confirmation that something is going to happen on December 3rd and that both Rockstar and the Game Awards are involved. Stop the cap. So does that mean the trailer is dropping? Or does that mean Rockstar is announcing they'll be at the Game Awards? Remember... The Game Awards are on December 7th, so yeah. it is possible the post going live on the 3rd is a tease of what's to come, perhaps confirming that the GTA 6 trailer is going to be at the Game Awards, or- uh, I'm willing to believe this more. I'm willing to believe this more, uh, like, hey, December the 3rd, Sunday, we get like a tease, a like, countdown that starts that, yeah, uh, GTA 6 trailer is finally coming at the Game Awards on December the 7th. I'm willing to believe that more than just, hey, trailer dropping on Sunday, December the 3rd. That's just like unlikely. Although we're talking about Rockstar Games, we're talking about one of the biggest games, GTA 6. 
the rules are not the same for them they certainly can but it's just unlikely but i also feel like that if they were to drop the trailer at the game awards the game awards no longer will be game awards it will be gta 6 awards you know <laughs> Oh you, you feel what I'm saying, bro? Nobody would care about the Game Awards after that, bro. Or maybe the trailer will go live on December 3rd, and then after the trailer goes live, Rockstar and Keeley will announce they'll be talking about the game at the Game Awards. Yeah, yeah, that's also possible, but Sunday just doesn't... Yeah, right? Like, you guys feel that they can drop on Sunday? I don't know yet. What do you think? What's your best guess here? It could literally go either way. What I do believe that it's gonna be before the Game Awards, though. <laughs> Either it's before or after. I mean, yeah, like, uh, there are only two possibilities, right? But I realistically do believe that it's gonna be before December the 15th. Because between December 1st and I would even argue December 1 to December 10, that, that's actually, like, early December. From December 10 to 20, that's, like, mid-December. Like, rest, let's be real, December 15 is mid. But we're talking about Rockstar out here. We're talking about these sons of female dogs that, you know, their, their definition is completely different from us. But recently, the entire map of GTA 6 got leaked out. We do an entire walkthrough of the map. Click on this video on the screen, and I will see right there. The map is actually kind of kind of big, guys. Uh, but is it big enough for Lucia Burna to be carried around? I'm not sure. Check this video out, and I will see you right there.